Hello guys, how you doing? This is Marshall back at you with another video This time I am working on a truck. It's a freight liner Cascadia 2014 I believe yeah 2014 This truck right here is giving me an issue uh, It has a intermediate start uh, Sometimes it decides not to start um if you hit the key uh, it will just not start because um for some reason i think yeah or it just started it would it does it every so often not every time it's in like intermediate problem that you know and when it presents itself it's usually uh very inconvenient of like you know at the gate of a customer blocking traffic or on a dock loading drivers down lo lo uh, loading you know try to start the truck and it won't start and then when i come to try to figure out what's going on it starts and uh i've seen it where it doesn't start and i had to manually go into the motor and bypass the starter in order to start it and once you do that it works for days and days and days weeks sometimes then the issue presents itself there's no fault code there's nothing it's just like it just doesn't respond to the key so what i am uh, going to do is something that i normally don't like to do eventually i know i'll find a problem but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to install a a, a, a switch like a push button but there's some challenges that uh that I, I have to overcome for example the if i put a switch right here it's a dangerous thing to have because anyone can push it and uh then that might pose a risk if somebody's in working in a motor and somebody just accidentally pushes it or just gets curious hey what is this switch and pushes it and it will start turning over the motor so i'm putting a hidden switch uh that um the driver and i will only know where it is and it's not going to be conveniently located to where you can just push it anytime it's going to be one of those things that you have to make a considered effort to try to get to it um in order to 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 use it it's gonna uh, show what i decided is to put it right under the steering column right in there and for a driver to actually access it they have to lift up the steering they're not just gonna push it you know you can't even reach it without lifting the steering so for you to turn on the switch you have to actually make an effort then i'm gonna put it down here where it's not just it's, it's not exactly easy to reach you can reach it after you lift the steering column that's for safety purposes so I'm gonna take you on the ride uh, and show you how I'm going to do it run it and uh, connect it on the truck and um, then we test it out and see how it works out stay along on the ride I decided placement of uh, a uh, perfect placement for this uh, switch will be right here um, so the type of, sw of switch I'm using is um, I already put some wires on it but it's a momentary switch that it's only on when you push when you let go it releases it turns off it only works when you push just make sure you if you decide to do this make sure you don't put one that catches because if you if it catches it'll stay on and it'll keep keep your starting circuit until you until you cut it so just push you just want to push button so i'm gonna drill i'm gonna drill the um this size hole right here and then i'll run the wires that way mount the switch right there run the wires that way into the then exit out towards the starter because uh we're gonna put we're gonna we're gonna be bridging the um the solenoid for the starter I fished through my wire. I fished through my wire from the center console to right here, and I already drilled my hole where I'm going to 
put my switch switch is gonna be mounted right there I like that then I'll, I'll wire it put my lock washer in the back lock nut in the back wire it put it back in place and then mount it back securely so it doesn't fall off right now it's pretty secure but I'm, I'm gonna do it proper and put a lock nut in the back uh, so that's that's the progress so far that the switch is mounted in place and wired in uh, our work is done right here so I'm gonna put back this panel put back this panel and uh, then we'll move on to the other section another section of the truck so we can continue running our wire to where we need to bridge it uh, so as the work continues I'll keep you along the steps alright all right. this part is done this part is done you have to reach in to push the button if the steering column is put back in, in riding position you can't even reach the button that's what's that's what I like about it you can't see it and you can't even reach it because this is normal riding size and and you can't reach the button unless you're really prying but you know normally people don't do that you got the steering block in view of where the button is you have to know where the button is intentionally leave the steering column to be able to reach it and start the truck all right i'm gonna move that way and uh, run the wire across and out into the engine bay so we can go to the to the starter relay so i found a plug underneath here that i was able to run the wire through across I had to take off all that dash stuff uh, so I can you know find the least intrusive way to uh, to get in so over here there is a plug that I was able to tap my wires across into the engine bay and I'm gonna go across this way uh, so we can access that starter over there uh, that's gonna be the most difficult part of the job um, another thing that I have to do is I have to run my wires away from this turbo this this part is hot it's gonna be hot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it behind the engine bay come down this way then across into this way this uh, ABS sensor comes across and then go into there uh, so that's uh that's gonna be my 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 routing i'm gonna route it from uh, route it that, that way behind this uh hvac box route it behind this hvac box come out on the other side uh, of this heat shield and then run it across i'm gonna zip tie it and come down in there uh but I was happy with finding this because this really helps with uh, less intrusion. If I put big holes, you know, start having water going into the truck, that's, that's bad business. We don't want that. But anyway, that's the progress so far. Ah, uh, just due to the nature of this truck, uh, this is the most difficult part of this job. Uh, accessing that starter over there. This is a short nose truck, 113. So uh, the starter is like way down there. So I'm gonna put my flashlight and uh, so I can see better. Another thing that I decided to do was because of the access back there, I decided to run my power wire across to the PDB of, on the other side, the driver side. So um, I mean, this is uh, the part where I hook up the uh, one one part of the two wires to the top of the starter solenoid on top, right? That little not on top um that's where we're gonna be breaching so i'm gonna do it and i'll show you the result when i'm done because it's kind of difficult to access 
but uh, I'll show you when once I'm done with it just accessing that starter uh, solenoid on top is gonna be the hardest part of the job but once that's done then everything else is is better but anyway I'll, I'll do it then I'll show you how it looks when I'm done actually it turned out to be much easier than I thought uh, all I had to do is just turn the wheel of the, of the truck and get on my knees and it was quite accessible so that blue wire is running to the top side of the top side of the solenoid which uh, which is one side of the two wires that were red so uh, this side is done this was the hardest part of the job but I'm gonna go to the other side and show you how we are going to hook that up and weigh so yeah I'm chugging along pretty well all right when it's all said and done here it goes you turn your key on then you push the button and there you go so uh we're now cranking with the button when we need to this is not going to be an everyday cranking it's just for situations when we need to crank because the key is not working so driver just has to pick up standing steering column reach in and push the button and the truck will start uh, you can hear it's turning over I didn't start it uh, because I still have some loose stuff in the front that I another project I'm working on but you can tell now just reach in push it and the, and the truck will start anyway thanks for watching please like share and subscribe uh, to tech Marshall tech underscore Marshall youtube.com at tech underscore Marshall please like share subscribe see you on the next one thanks bye